Mackenzie. And I'm Castle. We're here with our friend Nathan, who's our resident vintage men's fashion expert. Hey, how are you doing? And we're going to our favorite vintage shops to show you what to wear to the 1940s ball and how you can dress vintage for a festive holiday occasion. We're going to show you true vintage, reproduction, men's fashion, and everything in between. So come shop with us. Let's go. Here we have is a nice um, dinner jacket um, with a shock collar. Uh, it's a fancy dress, um, you know, black and white events, but it would work for a formal event like the 40s ball that's coming up here in December. fur was the height of luxury and any fashionable woman had to have a fur. However, today you can either buy vintage fur or you can buy faux fur if real fur makes you uncomfortable. I wanted to show this one off because it's got the great 40s aesthetic that is a faux fur. It has a full sleeve, the buttons down the front, and the perfect length for that 40s look. Reproduction comes in handy. For example, this dress by Pinup Girl Clothing is vintage reproduction, and you can accessorize it for the 40s ball by adding a little bit of sparkle. For example, this vintage brooch, and my helper will help me out here. Vintage gloves, <laughs> a vintage hat will dress it up, as well as a purse and some shoes. So you can make a very simple vintage reproduction dress into a totally glamorous outfit for the 40s ball. that would be perfect for the 40s ball. Now I love this red one. The red pops, especially for the Christmas color. You could accessorize this in so many ways. But one of my favorite things about this dress is it's actually made out of gabardine. Now gabardine was a very common material in the 40s and you can actually identify it by the slight stripiness that you have to it. This one has a little bit of sheen, making it a beautiful look and I love the details. On this one over here, it has beautiful beaded accents with a little bit of pleating in the front. Again, the focus with both of these dresses is the shape of the shoulder with that subtle sit at the hip and a gentle A-line skirt. Uh, World War II Army officer's jacket. Um, the insignia here, I believe is the 5th Army, uh, don't quote me on that, um, I have to do more research, but uh, this, this is great because it's a full uniform, it comes with um, 
but the uh, overcoat, um, the uniform shirt, and uh, the slacks come with it as well. If you'd like to come take a deeper look here, now you can actually look, if you look deep or close enough, you can usually find um, uniform tags and it typically has the date there, you see. Um, this one was made in, uh, or patented in 45, but made in 39, but it's the same, it's the same pattern for a World War II one. Typically it would have a cap, uh, here we have is, uh, known as a piss cutter cap, or a garrison cap. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a good combo. Like